Well, hello everyone, and I'm sure you would agree, excitement is now at fever pitch as we reach the final stage. Here we are of the um, Winter Invitational, stage three out of three. And to finish off, we've got a hard going course because we're going to be uh, tackling La Classicissima. It's easy for me to say. Uh, I've sent the drone out. Let's take a look at the course overview. Uh, so as we can see, it's not too bad a start. We start off quite flat, but it is not long, as you will see as we turn this corner, uh, before we hit a pretty grueling uphill, which goes on for quite some time. So it's going to be a case of working out how to get through that, hopefully with the least amount of pain, and possibly take advantage of that short downhill to get rid of any exhaustion, which I'm probably going to pick up along the way. Then we have another quite a long straight flat part as we come up to this corner here. And as we turn the corner, we will, as this beautiful drone work shows you, hit another uh, uphill. Not as long as the first one. The first one's pretty grueling. Uh, and then we're fairly quickly into quite a long downhill. So it's the opportunity to use up some of those cards. We passed the finish there you see on the right, but we're not there yet because there is yet another uphill to tackle as we come to the final bends and as we come round there more superb drone work as you can see and we come into the final flats it's all flat all the way to the end after that last hill and then it will be a case of crossing over the finish line so it's uh, probably something which is going to be quite a challenge uh, now as things currently stand uh, we can have a look at the current uh, overview. Uh, I am in the lead, uh, Team Black, uh, 23 points after the first two stages. Team Green, though, the muscle team, not far behind. And the other muscle team, Red, uh, and the Peloton team, Blue, sharing 15 points. So it really could be anyone's overall win. OK, I think we have got all the things we need to know about. We can see that all of our starters are on the line and ready to go. So if we go um, to our main view and we will get started. OK, right. So as always, uh, I have split my exhaustion so that it is uh, one for the sprinter and two for the ruler. So let's get started and see how we do. OK, I think we want to try and stay in the pack to start with. So I'm going to play it safe uh, because we do, want, do not want to take exhaustion as we come up to this first hill. So let's see how things go for us to start with. Um, OK, right. Let's um, actually let's stick with that one so we can see all of the cards that are being played. We're going to start with the red sprinter and the red sprinter is going to be going five. The green sprinter is also a five. Hopefully we've made the right decisions here. Uh, the red ruler is just a three. The green ruler is a six. Loses a movement there because it can't go six. Uh, the blue sprinter, the peloton, six. And now here we go, uh, Black Sprinter 5. And the Peloton team was a 6. And I've got a feeling I'm going to lose some movement here. Yeah, my ruler was a 6. Okay, so we do lose a movement there, but the good news is we're in the pack. We are not... Um, Let's take a look at how they stand. Whoops, wrong camera. There we go. You can see we're at the back of the pack, but could be worse. Um, so there's no exhaustion to take, which is good. We begin round two with no exhaustion. Right, what to do? Because we're at the back of the pack, but I feel like that's a fairly good place to be at the moment. We're definitely not going to be the nine. Let's play the four and try and stay in amongst the pack. And hmm, maybe the five to stay in the pack. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, right, let's reveal. We'll start with the red sprinter. The red sprinter, just a two. Green sprinter, three. Green ruler, five. Peloton team, seven. I think they're going to lose some movement here. One, two, three, four, five, six is the most they can do. The black sprinter, we said four. Still fairly safely in the pack. Peloton seven. And then the red ruler three. And finally, my black ruler was a five. Three, four. Ooh, can't go five, but it is safely in the pack. No exhaustion. So that's good news. Um, we can take a look at how things are currently standing. Let's go to... There we go. You can see we're pretty much in the thick of the back of the pack there, but that might actually work to our advantage uh, once we hit this hill. Okay, right. So no exhaustion to take. This is good news. And we begin round three. Okay, let's go ruler this time. Um... Two, three, four, five away. And let's go. There is someone behind, so let's go four. And we're only three away from the hill. So let's go five and stay in amongst the pack because that's all we could do anyway. So the Peloton team, five. So the sprinter and the ruler both head up about halfway up that first mountain the green ruler seven it will be limited to just five the sprinter five the red sprinter three so it doesn't actually get onto the mountain black sprinter five not bad uh, black ruler four not fantastic because it's going to take exhaustion and the red ruler four okay so uh, there would normally be slip streaming but this is a, a hill square so there's no slip streaming there which means that the uh, black ruler will have to take exhaustion um, and uh, not looking too terrible as we go into the next round no exhaustion for the sprinter which is good and they're both on the hill Oh, sorry, no, the ruler's just before the hill, so that's not fantastic. So let's choose for the ruler first, and we'll go the maximum of five. And no way we're going to burn that nine. So let's stay with a four for the sprinter. Let's see what that does for us. So peloton team, three. Green ruler, three. Green sprinter, just a two. Black sprinter, a four. Uh, then we go to the red sprinter, which is a five. Black ruler, five. Lost a movement there, not fantastic, and it took an exhaustion, didn't it, on the previous round? Uh, red ruler six, limited to five as we're on a hill, so we're very tightly packed together here, aren't we? Um, and the sprint is about halfway up the hill, so possibly could clear the hill in the next round. Ruler's going to be stuck on it for another round, but no exhaustion to take as we go into round five. Okay, let's see if we can get a five. Yes, good. We can get a five for the sprinter. What about the ruler? Five again. That looks like a good choice. Okay, so we start with the peloton team. 
Ooh, they've played their attack card, which is not going to work out brilliantly because it's going to be two for the front rider. And it would be normally uh, a nine for the back rider, but it's going to be limited to five. And then we go to the green ruler, which is a five. Black Sprinter, five. Green Sprinter, five. Red Sprinter, just a two. Black Ruler, five. And Red Ruler, four. So amazingly, we're still very much as a whole group of riders. And even better than that, no exhaustion. Happy, happy days. So no exhaustion that round. And my ruler is still stuck on the hill, so it's going to be limited to five. So let's go with them first. Um, I think we can play a four here because there's a couple of riders behind. And now the sprint is on the downhill. Do we burn that exhaustion to stay in the pack? Or do we go for the nine? Uh, what have we got here? A five would take us to there. Still the chance to use a nine in the next round. What do we want to do here? What do you think? It feels like a good idea to get rid of that exhaustion, doesn't it? Let's take a risk. Let's take a risk. Okay, right, so Peloton team, five. Green ruler is a three. But of course that goes up to five because they're on the downhill. We burnt off an exhaustion to go up to five. Then the peloton team, what was it, five? The green sprinter is a three. And it was staying as a three because they were on the hill. Our ruler was a four. The red ruler was a five. Stuck on a four though. Although we should get that movement back in a minute and a four for the sprinter. Right, okay, some slipstreaming is going to happen here because we're on the downhill. So that's good for our ruler. And although the red ruler lost the movement, it gets it back. Okay, wow. Exciting times here, everyone. Let's take a look at how things stand at the moment. Let's go to the other camera. Look at that. So looking good at the moment because we're safely in the pack. We haven't taken a whole lot of exhaustion. Uh, I'd say we're about a third of the way through this final stage. So it's not looking too terrible uh, at the moment. Okay, right. Let's um, go again. No exhaustion to take, which is excellent news. Uh, no exhaustion this round. Okay, now, will that nine come back again for us for the sprinter? Oh, it does. Feels like this is a good time to play it because... There's not really any, until the very end, there's not really stretches of nine uh, because of those mountains. So let's go for that nine for the sprinter. And for the ruler, we'll go six to hopefully stay in amongst the pack. Okay, right. Submit. Here we go. Let's see how that affects everything. Peloton, three. Green ruler, four. Black Sprinter, is this the moment? Nine. Gets us almost as far as that next mountain. Uh, what was the Peloton team? Three. Green Sprinter is a nine. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Uh, black ruler, we said six. 
red ruler, five. And red sprinter, four, which will go up to five because they're on the downhill. Now, this is very, very interesting because a whole lot of slipstreaming is going to go on here. So starting at the back, we've got slipstreaming here. And we're going to slipstream again here, which brings everybody forward. And we're going to slipstream again up to my sprinter around this bend. So still very tight little pack, but it does mean an exhaustion for the sprinter, which we will take. Okay, coming up to the hill as we begin round eight. Mm, okay, let's start with the sprinter. Oh, not great. So it's going to have to go back into the pack here, I think. There's no way I'm going to use those nines. Um, but I think I will sacrifice a movement here to stay in the pack with the ruler. Let's see how this works out. So three for the sprinter. Gets us onto that mountain. The green sprinter has played a nine. One, two, three, four, five. It's good for us because it's going to take away any exhaustion. The uh, peloton team, seven. Gonna, one of them's at least going to lose some movement here. One, two, three, four, five. Brings him alongside our black sprinter. The green ruler is a four. Black ruler is a six. One, two, three, four, five. Keeps us nicely in the pack. Then we've got the peloton team, which was a seven. Oh dear, lost two movements there because of the hill. Um, and then the red ruler is a seven. One, two, three, four, five. Brings it to the back of the pack. And red sprinter languishing out there a bit now, getting a bit separated from the rest of the pack brings it in there but what well, the good news is no exhaustion here for us okay both riders are on the mountain P possibility of getting over it on the next one but no exhaustion we go again right let's go sprinter first four is going to be the best we're going to get there that will get us over the top of the mountains so that's good and four gets us to the top five which get us over, but it's a sacrifice of two. One, two, three, four, five, but possible slip streaming. So I feel like that's the right call. Will I live to regret that? We will see. Let's see how things are happening. So the green sprinter, dear, oh dear, limited to five. Then we've got the peloton team, seven. Dear, oh dear, they're going to lose some movement here. One, two, three, four, five. Black Sprinter, four. One, two, three, four. Gets us over the top of the mountain. Then Black Ruler, seven, limited to five. One, two, three, four, five. Brings us up alongside the teammates. Then we have um, Green Ruler. Where's that? Green Ruler is a three. Peloton Team, we're a seven, limited to five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, red ruler is a seven, which will be limited. One, two, three, four, five. And the black sprinter is a five. One, two, three, four, five. Just gets it onto the bottom of the hill. So although the red sprinter is pretty much out on his own, the uh, we're still very much a pack. Should we take a closer look? Uh, here we go. So... Very much pack. We are right in the middle, which is good because uh, it feels like a safe place to be at the moment. And we're both on the downhill, which can only be a good thing. Okay, so let's take a look. We're going to go to... Um, we've got no exhaustion to take, which is good. Let's begin round 10. And let's see how lucky we are. Okay, this is good, I think. <laughs> I say that, we'll find out if it's good or not. Um, okay, yeah, 
Let's play both those twos because they're going to go up to five. Let's see how it works with the others. So green sprinter goes three, two, three, four, five, up to five because he was on the downhill. Peloton team are going to go six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then sprinter two up to five, one, two, three, four, five. Ruler two up to five, one, two, three, four, five. Then we've got our blue sprinter. Sorry, blue, blue sprinter, which is part of the peloton team, which is a six. Would it be limited to five because he's on the top of the mountain? One, two, three, four, five. The red ruler is a five. One, two, three, four, five. Green ruler is a five. And the red sprinter is a five because that nine is limited does get him over the top of the hill. A little bit of slipstreaming here. So that's good for us. As we all advance a little bit, as we come up to the final mountain, no exhaustion to take. I feel like we're in a fairly strong position. Let's just see how it works out for us. Okay, right. So got to bear in mind that we're just two away from the beginning of that mountain. Oh. Ah, oh dear, this is not great. You really want that nine in this last stretch here. Do I use one of them now to stay in amongst? Because two doesn't even get me onto it. I feel like I'm going to have to. Um, but a four could keep me very much in the pack here. Yeah, let's go like that and see what happens. Okay, so green sprinter, just a two. Peloton team, four. Gets him to the top of the hill, but not over. Black sprinter, nine, which will get limited to five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. No, five, top of the hill, next to the peloton blue. Um, ruler, four. Slips in. Then we've got our... Peloton, which was a four. Red ruler, four. Loses a movement. Green ruler, six. One, two, three, four. Would be limited to five, so has to stop there. And poor old red sprinter. Oh, four goes up one by to five because he's on the downhill. One, two, three, four, five. But almost, but not quite benefits from any slip streaming. So as we're going up this hill, this is the state of play. So again, fairly nicely near the front. Are going to take an exhaustion for our sprinter. Let's hope that doesn't come back to haunt us. Um, and we're almost on the downhill and into that final part of the race. So let's take a look and see what's going to happen. Right, okay, so no exhaustion to take for the ruler, but there will be exhaustion for the sprinter. And let's start with the sprinter. Okay. So I think we're going to go as big as we can, three, to get down that hill. And same again, that will get us over onto the downhill. So we start with the peloton team. They're going to attack now. How's this going to work out for them? Because it's two for the front rider. One, two should be nine for the back but it's going to get limited both of their attacks have been played on mountains if i remember correctly um black sprinter three one two three black ruler three but at least they're both over the top of the mountain green sprinter just a two he's stuck on the mountain so it should be an attack card should be a nine five is as far as it will go because it gets limited and then we have our red ruler, which is a three. And our green ruler, which is going to get limited to a five. Can only go four. And then good old red sprinter is going to get limited again to a five. One, two, three, four, five. But it amazingly is back in the pack. 
So when we take a look at the state of play on as we go up this final hill, or as we're now coming down it, we're going to take another exhaustion for our black sprinter. But I do feel he's in a relatively good position. But it feels like there's been a lot of exhaustion for him. So it could come down to the ruler as we take along this last little stretch and hopefully don't fizzle out over the finish line. We need a good sort of solid middle table performance, I think, to win this. So let's begin round 13 and see how it works out for us. Uh, you didn't see that on screen, but I just put my exhaustion for the sprinter. No funny business going on here. I was just on the wrong view. Okay, right. Uh, let's go sprinter, shall we, and see what we get. Ooh, we've got a nine. We're going to play that. And seven. This is feeling good. Okay, so we start with the black sprinter, which is a nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Makes a dash for the finish. Now the peloton team, six. The black ruler, we chose a seven. Green ruler, four, going up to five because of the downhill. Green sprinter, four, and it stays a four because he's still at the top of the mountain. Then the red ruler is a six. Going to be limited down to five though. One, two, three, four, five. Slots in that little gap. And our red sprinter, one, two, three, is on the downhill and is going to benefit from this because he's going to slipstream to rejoin the pack and there's going to be more slipstreaming here. So not the greatest of news because although the sprinter has the lead, I think that's all the nines gone and we're down to exhaustions I think now and both of the riders are going to take exhaustion as we head into that last little section. Exhaustion for the ruler and exhaustion for the sprinter so the finish line, one, two, three, just four, a five would cross the finish line. So let's give them both their exhaustion and begin round 14. But we've got to go with the sprinter first. Will we get a five? Or have they all gone? Oh, we'll go as high as we can. And oh dear, once again, I think we're going to limp over the line. So let's reveal... So three, four, the black sprinter. Just so achingly close. Uh, the peloton team, a four. The three for the ruler. Keeps him in contention. It was a four, wasn't it, for the peloton? The green ruler, a seven. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The red ruler, seven. Oh, the green sprinter is a five. And the red sprinter is also a five. So exciting times. We've got slip streaming at the back. So as we go into the final round, there's going to be exhaustion for the sprinter. So we should... We are going to finish on the next round, but I get a feeling that we are just going to limp over the line and it depends what was in the other decks. Uh, for the rulers cross the line, one, two, three, four, and these are five. I'm not sure if there's any of those still there, so let's save that one and we'll start with the sprinter. Okay, well, there we go. Two is what we thought, but it will cross the line. Ooh, hang on a second. This looks good. We'll take that seven any day. And let's see how that finishes off things shall we so black sprinter crosses the line with a two but he will be passed the green ruler wow seven one two three four five six seven as far as it possibly can go uh the peloton team just a three do not finish the red ruler six one two three four five six the black ruler, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The blue uh, peloton team was a three. Does not finish. 
green sprinter is a four. And the red sprinter, unbelievably, is a nine. Wow, can't get the full nine, but that is incredible. When you think how far back the red sprinter was for so long uh, and has just pulled it out of the bag on that final round to actually come a very respectable fourth. Okay, let's uh, just put some of these into their order. So we've got first place for the green ruler, then um, second place um, for the red ruler. I got confused there. Third place for Black Ruler. Fourth place for the Red Sprinter, unbelievably. Fifth place for Black Sprinter. And let's just find out exactly how those last three riders will cross the line. Uh, I'm just going to pick any old cards. Look at that, all, all twos. Twos and a three. And so the Peloton team are a five. So, and what does the green sprinter do? Green sprinter does a four. So that finishes in very much the order we see there. So exciting times, I'm sure you will agree. Let's take a look and see how that puts everything into the final um, positions. So let's um, click on here. That's the current situation. For stage three then, let's put some points in. So it was eight points for the green ruler. There we go. Uh, seven points for the red ruler. Six points for the black ruler. That's us. Then um, where are we at? five points for the red sprinter. Now, where we got to? So that's our four points for the black sprinter. And then we've got the blue sprinter gets a three. Blue ruler gets the two. And that leaves the green sprinter with just the one point. So that's how things worked out in that final stage. And here's the big question. What does it do for the overall standings? Have I done it? Yes, I have. There we go. Look, the black team with 33 points, closely followed by Team Green with 28. The red team with 27, so close. And Team Blue, the Peloton team, were sort of languishing a little bit. Uh, 13 points behind us in the lead with just 20. So exciting times indeed. A victory in the Winter Invitational for Team Black. Uh, very, very happy with that. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini invitational of three um, uh, stages. Plans are for a grand tour, but I'm just still working out exactly how all of that works. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, remember, until the next time, don't be bored. Be a bored racer. Bye-bye.